You can manage the CRUD for your application through the admin section of the site. For example, if you want to create the CRUD for a customer, then you can name it so and then add a list of comma separated fields for the customer, assign the data types and then hit the update button to generate the CRUD for it. Once your site is updated, you can see the forms to create customers, view or edit them or delete them. And you can see all the list of customers and list views and grid views. It's a pretty flexible system so you can move around the fields or add new fields and regenerate your code base and it will still work. You also have the ability to add child and parent CRUD. For example, if you want to manage employees within departments, then you can add a new department and add employees within the department. And this visual interface makes it easy for you to add your CRUD or view them. And there's another kind of relationship, the cross-referencing or foreign key relationship. So for example, here we are assigning an employee as a reference for the assigned to field for the task. So here we are assigning the employee and then mapping it to a couple of search fields. Now when the user is filling in employee information, he can search for an employee and update the information. This is how we will manage permissions within the site. So you can create user groups. Within user groups, um, you can assign um, one or more users to the user groups. Then you can add one or more roles to the user groups. And once the roles are created, you can give permissions to different modules of your application to different roles. So here we are giving permission to create, read, edit, delete by simple click of checkboxes and radio buttons. You can also upload spreadsheets. So if the spreadsheet has got data in it, it will be uploaded. The schema will be generated based on the spreadsheet information. And you can see that sales data here is um, uploaded. You can see it in the list and grid view and you also get the forms for it. You also have dashboards where you can aggregate different module views together, view them in graphs, grids, etc. We also have support for photos and documents using the Amazon S3 infrastructure behind the scenes. So you'll be able to download and upload photos and documents pretty fast.